Welcome back to my channel, The Midnight Reader. My name is Rosica. This is where I live on the internet. This is my zone. Today, I thought I would repeat one of my most popular videos ever, which is today we're going to the little libraries. Basically, I moved recently. I donated a ton of books before I moved, but I kept a big bag of them that I thought would be really fun finds. Books that I would be genuinely really excited about if I found them at a little library. And I'm going to take a selection of them today and go walk to an area that I have not explored their little libraries. There are allegedly four, four little libraries on this route. It's just gonna wind by a, a park that I like a lot. It has been really rainy around here. North of us has been getting spring snowstorms. I wanted to go enjoy a little bit of springtime and see if I could get some pretty ass blossoms in. And yeah, I'll show you all the books that I'm taking to the little library. So these are the eight books that I'm taking to the little library today. They're kind of an eclectic mix. First, I've got Turtles All the Way Down by John Green, The Book Thief by Marcus Zuzik, excellent read. Uh, then I have George R.R. R. Martin's A Game of Thrones, The Heart Principle by Helen Huang, Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen, Still Life by Louise Penny, Neil deGrasse Tyson's Astrophysics for People in a Hurry, and of course, The Tao of Pooh by Benjamin Hoff. And that's my little haul. And we're gonna see if they fit in my big ol' bag. They do, but uh, it's a uh, mother truck and heavy. I am trying to keep my own little library haul a bit limited. So while I'm bringing eight books with me, my hope is to only bring back four or less. So that's two books donated to each little library and then hopefully only taking one from each little library. So I have my heavy ass bag. We're gonna strap in and head out. So a bit of a plot twist, pretty close to where I was gonna start my walk and I drove by a little free library that's not on the map. So I guess we're getting out here and we're gonna start here. Also, it's a nice day out, finally. So there's a lot of people on the street. So this is gonna be awkward to film. It's gonna be awkward to film, but we're gonna do it anyway. It'll be fun. Let's go. first one, which was fine. Unexpected surprise library. I did leave Game of Thrones because it seemed like they needed a little more fantasy. On to number two. So library number two had an amazing little uh, door locker, cute little handle. It also was a very nerdy vibe. It had had some good nerd books. I think it had three or four books on Minecraft design. So I decided that these are nerds. These are good people. I did take one book from that library and I decided to leave Neil deGrasse Tyson's uh, Astrophysics for People in a Hurry because these seem like nerdy good people. On to number three. It has occurred to me that I should have checked to see how long of a walk this was, but uh, my guess is around four miles. But I also kind of don't care because I have the day off today and it's nice out and it's finally not raining. So the long walk, if it is, so be it.
that one doesn't exist. It is a it is a Schrodinger's library. I know I was at the right spot because the address matched. Ooh, pretty trees. that happens because you know people move they forget to update that they took their little library with them yada yada that was the first time that's happened to me uh i'm not mad about it it's up a very pretty walk i'm enjoying the walk the sun is out the birds are tweeting the flowers are blooming the leaves are coming it actually feels like spring for once so i'm not mad at it small de detour I am slightly regretting not bringing a snack. Who is surprised? Always hungry. So we're gonna work our way to number, surprise, existed, didn't exist, number four. <laughs> this one's at a church, which, real question, can I leave a raunchy romance at a church? <laughs> Asking for a friend, I'm not sure. It's not a Catholic church. So my gut says yes. We're gonna we're gonna take our indications from what's already there. I am, however, looking forward to getting rid of more books, and I'm hoping some of the other libraries, the two coming up, are emptier, so I can get rid of extra books because I've only unloaded two, and uh, I've picked up one, so I still have seven books in this backpack. <laughs> library number four but I did just see a really pretty what looks like a park with a flower conservatory that I didn't know existed so we're gonna walk to this library hopefully unload some books so it's less heavy and then I'm walking back up because I want to go see the flower place <laughs> leaving most of my books there. I only had two left, The Child Who and the book The Helen Huang, The Romance, because I did think it was a little too sultry for the church book bin, <laughs> so my Catholic guilt wouldn't let me put it in there. Um, but I did leave quite a few books. I did pick up one. I did pick up a book, and now we are on a little mystery park that I didn't know existed, and it's gorgeous and lovely. And I thought this was a graveyard, it's definitely not. I'm low-key very excited for this because before I was a book lady, I was a plant lady. <laughs> and God damn it, I saw greenhouses and we're going inside. <laughs> okay, that was a really cool side trip. I didn't film in there because I didn't think it was super cool to do so. But basically it's like a community garden. It's a public community garden. And it's run what seems like almost exclusively by folks with special needs. And it was wonderful and lovely. And I didn't stay too long because they were hard at work and doing lots of cool things. But they had some wonderful, wonderful plants and like really old specimens. And it's really obvious that they take a lot of care and like do a really cool things with that garden, so. What a cool thing that I just found out existed. So I haven't been filming too much around the libraries themselves because 
there have been a lot of people around. It's sort of awkward to film yourself or very obviously film a box, but I have a much lightened load. I have two more books to get rid of, so hopefully this next library will also exist. And then yeah, we'll make our way back to the car, which hopefully we have not lost. We're on the secret path. We're taking a pretty ass second park detour. It's longer, but I don't care. I just slid down this hill so I could be off the road and on the path. Parkour! See if I can go to the deli before I try to find my car. <laughs> it's like a rule of the universe that there's always people standing right outside the little library. Every time I have my books, I didn't, and most of them were kind of high highfalutin, highbrow, so I decided to leave the towel of poo there. Um, I did pick up a book from that library, I found something a bit strange and weird that I decided I wanted. My bag is so much lighter, I can't even. Now I'm walking to the deli, because that sounds like the right thing to do in this situation. Surprise library! On the way to the deli. And I have one more book left. So that's really good books. Also, why is there always a copy of Life of Pi in every little library? It's like a rule. Guys, I used to love these books. You have no idea. The Royal Diary series. Mine had gilded edges because I was fancy, but I used to love these books. They're like fake diaries of all sorts of royalty from different countries. It was cute. Well, it was sort of lovely and unexpected. It just happens people put up their own and they don't register them. And that one had a lot of nice books. I did finally get rid of the last book, which was my smutty romance, because there's a little bit of Debbie McComber in there, and that means that I can put my smutty romance in the library. Because Debbie McComber is also right smut. <laughs> I did find one book. I think I came away with four. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with all of them. And we have significantly lightened the load, which means it's sandwich time. <laughs> Because this is a bougie fucking neighborhood. And I shoved a chicken salad sandwich into my purse. Because I'm not bougie. <laughs> oh, so now we're going back to the car to eat in peace. And then I will show you my book haul. All right, we're back in the car. And I understand why people vlog in the car now. Like, I get it. It's because you look like less of a fucking maniac than just doing this on a park bench. This is like your perfect soundproof box. And you just really hope no one sees you talking to yourself. You still feel like a fucking maniac, but it's like the illusion of privacy. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the books I got. Uh, there's only a couple. And then I'm going to dig into my sandwich because that's the kind of day that we're having. I just hid from a man who was walking their infant. <laughs> Okay, so first book I got, it was actually at the second library, uh, the first official library. I got The Outsiders, which is a classic I don't think I've read. The only thing I know about The Outsiders is the phrase, stay gold, pony boy, but I don't know what that means, and the lack of context is starting to bother me. Plus, it's a classic that's, like, pretty slim. This might actually be in my Classics in a Cup draw pile, I'd have to check, but... Hey, I can maybe just read it. The second book I got, I think I got this actually at the church library. And I happen to know this is a very stabby thriller. And that's Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. So, kind of looking forward to that one. Because I do love a thriller. It is a bit hefty. I may alternate reading this on audiobook and physical books. Because that's what I tend to do. But I, I, I want to read this. I'm sure I'm going to fucking, you know... I'm just gonna eat it. I did pick up a book at the second to last library, the last official one. That was the one that had very few books. It had maybe like less than 10 books and they were all really small. It's sort of existential. It was an existential library. And I picked up a book I had never heard of, which is Clockwork by Philip Pullman. It's very thin, but it seems to be like a kind of like adventure story. 
and I'm sure I can get through this in like a New York minute. So I'm looking forward to reading it. Also, because Philip Pullman is great. People on the sidewalk think that we're crazy. The people on the sidewalk think that we're crazy. All right, and uh, last but not least, I have, I did get a Neil Gaiman book from the Final Surprise Library, and that is Neverwhere, which I had never heard of. Never heard of it but we're gonna read it. So I did enjoy Coraline because it was sort of like an intentional dark fairy tale, but I did hate the ocean at the end of the lane. So we'll see kind of where this stacks up. Not sure if I'm a fan yet of Neil Gaiman. All right, friends, I'm gonna eat my bougie sandwich. Thank you for coming along on this little library tour. There were two surprise libraries, one Schrodinger's library, and a bunch of people standing outside the library, so I couldn't film. But I had a good time. I got rid of a lot of books from my collection, and I only picked up four, which is exactly what I was hoping for. And I'm going to read through a bunch of these, I think, pretty quick. So I will probably keep doing this little tiny libraries tours thing as a series. I have another one planned with a friend of mine who lives in another town. As always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I hope you have a sandwich to eat yourself and have a nice day.